I know you have some questions about plexiform neurofibromas. And plexiform neurofibromas are the growth that growths that you can get in neurofibromatosis type 1. And they're different from the skin or cutaneous neurofibromas that anybody can get on their skin. Those are usually small, less than a centimeter, and they're soft, and they never ever turn into a cancer. But plexiform neurofibromas, those are present from birth, and you might not notice them at birth, but they always get very gradually bigger over time. And those do have about a 10% risk of becoming a cancer. They, when they're present at birth, sometimes they can have a dark color on the skin over top of them, or sometimes they can have some hair over top of them, or sometimes they might be covered just with plain skin. And the best way to find them is to feel them. They have a special feeling that is sometimes described as being like a bag of worms. They're usually soft and they feel kind of ropey when you feel them. And they, they do feel different than other types of growths of the skin. And because they get gradually bigger over time always, they often aren't any problem at all. But sometimes they can become a problem if they become too heavy for the person or if they rub on clothes, like if there was one on a waistline and it gets big and rubs on pants or if they're in an enclosed space in the body and then they cause pressure, or if they were in a place that was important to how the person looks, it, and then the person might want those removed. And they can be removed surgically, but it's very difficult to remove them completely because they're usually wrapped around a nerve, and then if you remove the nerve, then you can get loss of function of that nerve. So usually you can take off the plexiform neurofibroma and, and make it much better for the person, even though there might be a little bit of it left remaining. About 10% of the time, plexiform neurofibromas can turn into a cancer. So when we look at patients and see them in follow-up for neurofibromatosis type 1, we ask questions and we ask parents to watch for signs that could indicate rapid growth, because cancers are, are all disorganized growth compared to the uniform growth that you see over time in a benign spot. So we ask things that would signal that there's uh, unregulated growth, like is there new pain or is there a new neurologic symptom like itching that's new in a certain spot or tingling or numbness or loss of function like an arm or leg that doesn't move like it used to.